Okay, we're here, Walker Stalker Con Chicago. This is February 2015 with Lou Temple from The Walking Dead. So nice to be here with you, Eugene. Yes, thanks for yes, thanks for having me. How much fun has this been? It's been amazing. Down at the Navy Pier, it's a fantastic facility. Yes. The sun is out, but don't let that fool you. It's still like 19 degrees outside. It's very yes. cold. So what else do people have to do except come here right. and uh, see all their favorite zombies and uh, zombie victims? So Lou, tell me, how did you get the part? I did have to audition the old-fashioned way. Okay. Uh, I knew about uh, The Walking Dead and went in for the pilot for the role of Merle, oh. who was played by Michael Rooker. Thankfully, yes. they hired him. Then I went in for Merle's brother, who they didn't even have a name for at the time, which ended up being Daryl. Thankfully, they hired Norman Reedus. Then when it came time to Axel, they're like, ah, OK, we'll have Lou do this one. <laughs> so they knew about me, and uh, I was very fortunate. and. Uh, you know, blessed to get the, the opportunity to work on the show. Now you're saying you're from? Louisiana, New Orleans, Louisiana. So uh, I like to, uh, you know, keep it real down there, from, from down there. We do a lot of work in Louisiana. I live in Los Angeles, but go to New Orleans quite a bit because the film industry is so strong there based on the tax incentives. Oh, okay. And they've built a very solid infrastructure of filmmakers and film support there in the forms of crew. Uh, so a lot of films and television shows go there as well. Wow, you didn't know that, did you? There's a little inside information. Now, do, so, you, do you sing? Do you write? I do. I do some music. Uh, I like to do music. I try to do. I try to write a song for everything I do in the form of uh, a little story, a little two-minute ditty that is an arc of what I've done. Uh, oftentimes these days there are music supervisors who feel very territorial about their uh, their music. So not often do I get a song in a film, but on occasion, I like doing that. Now, what style do you like? I like to mix it up. So, you know, clearly based on where I'm from and, you know, my, my sort of essence, uh, a little country, obviously. Uh, but I like to mix it up with some rock and roll, uh, a little 80s pop music. Uh, I, I like to you know, do some, maybe some reggae, dubstep type nice, of things. Nice. Um, my thing with music, Eugene, is I'm a big collaborator. So, and I'm not that good a musician. I need a lot of help. So I like to get a group of musicians together and really riff and figure what out, uh, or see where it goes, I should right, say. Right, not right, unlike right. an improv right, scene. Right, right. And so uh, I enjoy that as much as anything. But I will say this, I do find real musicians, and, and I am not one, uh, they also become very precious with their material, and I suppose they would because it's their livelihood. Right. Yeah. Now, do you um, do you have any advice for young aspiring artists? Well, I think that uh, I think you and I both know that no man can walk out of his own story. Right. So no person can walk away from their destiny. You will end up telling your story, whether you want to or not. Right. And I think that it just becomes a lot easier to go with the flow and tell the story that is your destiny in your work, whether it's painting or music or acting. Um, tell your, your story and represent it as to who you are. Be yourself. I think more often, for me, I get hung up with going into an audition trying to please the people uh, as to what I think they want. And really what they want is they just want to know Lou. Right. And so I think as a young person, start understanding how to be okay with yourself and present yourself. And uh, I think that will serve you. Other than that, I think reading is a great skill set to have. And reading out loud, you should be able to know what you sound like. And then after you read out loud, look in the mirror and read out loud so that you see what your face looks like and what you sound like. And these are things that will help you as an actor. As the art goes, music and whatnot, um, if it's not fun for you, uh, how can it be any fun for us? So right, make sure right. it's good for you. All right. Words of wisdom from Lou Temple, you guys. Thanks you for having me. Do you have a website? Uh, I do Lou Temple Actor on Twitter, and uh, that's kind of it. There's a Facebook pa page that's run by a fan, it's a fan page. Right. 
But uh, Eugene, thank you. Thank you. Go Bless to, you. Go to imdb.com, check out the brother's body of work. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right, take care. Yes.